I am Anu Lam, third generation Chinese descendant in Mauritius. On the occasion of the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Mauritius and China, I would like to tell a facet of the cultural exchange between the two countries. The Chinese establishing in Mauritius is now over two centuries. We Sino Mauritians have plenty of liberty to exercise our ancestral culture in Mauritius. We usually celebrate spring festival which is a national public holiday with a cultural gala show broadcast live in national TV. Since the opening of China Cultural Center in 1988, we are having highly qualified dance teachers to form and train locals in Chinese dance and to participate in the show. For the organizers at that time, namely Mr. Tang Yongqing, Mr. Shao Yutong and many others, they started with shows composed exclusively of locals. And as from 1990s, with the help of the Chinese embassy, they mobilized one renowned singer from China to piece up the show. And then two, and then a small troop. And finally, in the present years, a full cultural troupe, giving full opportunity for the artists to display the different facets of Chinese culture, this stage on the Spring Festival. And for the propagation of Chinese culture in Mauritius, we have uh, some uh, well-established uh, organizations like uh, China Cultural Center itself, Chinese Middle School, Ming Tech Center, School of Chinese Music, and many others to help continue the contacts with the Chinese culture. 50 years have gone through since we tied diplomatic relations. We have had uh, the cultural exchange agreement signed in uh, 2007. It is however noticed that the cultural, cultural propagation on the other way around, that is from Mauritius exposing its culture to the Chinese, the story is quite different. Mauritius showcasing its cultural heritage to the Chinese is limited to a cultural group going to China once a year for a series of shows. And as there is no local organization to continue the propagation work in China, the exposure has little follow-up. Back to Mauritius, I also noticed another thing, is that there is some difficulty or some reticence for the local sino Mauritians to sing Sega songs. Even if there are some bold ones treading on that field. Musically speaking, their song, their rhythm is not as pure as the, um, uh, usually, we, we usually hear the local people singing the Sega. I presume it is on the fact that Creole pronunciation is not obvious for native Chinese. And that Sega beat is on an uh, unfamiliar rhythm for them, 6-8. And uh, where the stress beat is not on the first count. Now, 6 8 is dum 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 uh, um, uh, get a correct uh, tempo of the horizon. On the occasion of the 50th anniversary of uh, the diplomatic relations between Mauritius and China, I have written a Stega song with Chinese lyrics. This would remove the difficulty in the pronunciation part. Thus, the singers need to concentrate on the rhythm and the Stega beat only. I hope it is this way, with more Stega songs written in Chinese, it will be easier for the Chinese to get into the proper Sega rhythm for the advancement of the cultural exchange and better understanding of either side culture. 五十年的文化交流尽在歌曲中 50 years cultural exchange, it is all on the Sega songs. I wish the cultural exchange between Mauritius and China flourish exponentially. Long live the friendship between Mauritius and China.